So you've got your brand new boots. Just a few things to remember before you go away on your holiday. Number one is get the boots on your feet before you go away. What we want to do is try and bed the liner in. You shouldn't really be doing this on the first day of your holiday. Um, so wear them around the house, go to a local slope. But if you can, try and spend at least kind of an hour in them. Do not sit down in them because your feet are likely to go a little bit tingly. But remember, they will be tight. We don't want a slipper. This is a piece of sports equipment. Another really important thing to consider is the quality of the sock that you're using. We want a decent sock uh, with a, a thin to medium thickness on it. Uh, we don't want one of those old school tube socks. If we wear a thick sock, it's only going to make the boot feel even tighter and squash the foot inside the shell. If you've got any questions or nerves about your boots before you go away on your holiday, please make sure that you give your local shop a quick call. We can answer any questions that you have, but also we may recommend that you come in and we can do some tweaks or modifications to make your boots feel a lot better before you go away. On your first few days of skiing, you might feel that the boots feel a little bit tight. It's a good idea just when you're on the lifts or at lunchtime just to loosen the clips off. The boot still has a little bit of bedding in to do. When you're in shop, the heat molding does a little bit of this, but really wearing and using the boot is what needs to happen. Remember that ski boots are made of plastic. So if you go from a warm boot room out to a cold ski environment, chances are that plastic's gonna contract. So if you over tighten your clips in the ski boot room, when we go skiing, you might just find that that first run of the day feels really tight. When you put your boots on for the first time, you just might feel your toes a little snug up against the end of the shell. So what you need to do is do these top two clips up, flex into the boot, your heel will move back into the shell, your toes will move away from the end. Once your foot's set, do these bottom two clips up. If you have custom insoles inside your ski boots, be wary of using boot dryers. Just check the temperature with your hand or speak to the hotel operator because what we don't want to do is melt our insoles inside our ski boots. If you find that after your ski holiday that there's a few pinching spots or it's a little bit tight in certain areas of your ski boot, pop into your local store and we can make any adjustments that we need to to make your boot feel more comfortable. Ski boots require very little in the way of maintenance, but your feet sweat a lot and ski boots aren't waterproof. They do let water in sometimes, so when you get home from your ski holiday, it's a good idea to pull your liner out of your boot and let the liner dry naturally. And how you want to do this is put your hand on the back of the boot, there's a little loop sometimes on the back of the liner and just push the liner away from you. Another thing that sometimes people struggle with is getting the liner back into the shell. So what you want to do is just pinch the back of the heel, push it down about halfway, and then get your hand in and push it the rest of the way. The last thing we need to do before we pack our boots away for our next ski holiday is make sure that we do our clips up. And we want to do them just on our normal ski boot setting so that they keep that nice natural shape around the foot and the lower leg. So if you just follow all the points that we talked about and take our advice, there's no reason why you shouldn't be comfortable inside your ski boots and enjoy your skiing holiday. But remember that your local Ellis Brigham is always there for any questions you've got.